Hey guys, how are you? Giorgio here, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the 2x2x2 two by two by two Rubik's Cube, sometimes called the Rubik's Mini or the Rubik's Junior. If you learned something today, please like and subscribe. So the 2x2 two two is basically an easier version of the 3x3, three three, but you have to learn two new algorithms to solve it if you only know how to solve this one. Let's start by mixing up our 2x2. Two So the first step in solving the 2x2 two two is just as the 3x3. Three three. We are going to solve one of the layers, which is actually 50% of the 2x2. Two two. In my case, I'm going to use the white side, but as you know, uh, it doesn't really matter which side you start on. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take one white piece and make sure that's my top layer. In this case, I'm going to use a white, blue and orange piece and flip my cube so it's already correctly flipped. The next thing I'm going to do is look for one of the pieces that has to go directly next to it. You can look for a piece, in my case, that's orange and white, or that's blue and white. So let's look for this piece in one of the bottom layers. It could also be in, for instance, this position, then you can just do it like this and twist it out. Um, but in this case, we are, I'm looking for the, ah, we have the orange and white piece right here. So what we want to do, just like with the first layer of the 3x3, three three, we're going to place it directly underneath where it needs to be. So it needs to be here. We're going to place it here in the bottom layer. And then we're going to do the algorithm that you probably already know, which is right inverted, down inverted, right down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. In my case, it fixed after just one time repeating this algorithm, but it could be four or five times um, that it's going to be correctly flipped in this position. Um, next thing, we're going to do the exact same thing with the white and green piece that has to go next to this one. So let's look for this piece. Uh, there are no white pieces in the top layer, so it has to be somewhere in the bottom layer in my case. Ah, here it is. Uh, white and green, it's beneath where it needs to be. It could also be like here, we can just turn it this way. Uh, so we're going to do right inverted, down inverted, right down. Because I see the white face is facing me this time, I know I'm going to have to repeat this algorithm a few more times than just one. Probably like four or five times. Five times. So this one's also correct. Now we're looking for the last piece and we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, there's only one white piece left, so it's easy to find. It's, it's this one. And because I cube a lot, I know this piece is on the right side. I'm going to have to do this algorithm just once. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Always remember to, um, to finish the algorithm. Some people, they forget, um, they forget the last down move. So when you do right inverted, down inverted, right down, they're going to be like... Oh yeah, it's fixed and they're going to forget that down move and it doesn't really matter in this stage But later when finishing the cube you need to remember to finish that algorithm So now we finished the first layer of our 2x2x2 two by two by two cube And we're going to do the same thing as on the 3x3. Three three. We're going to flip it So the fixed layer is on the bottom When you have two pieces next to each other switched you are going to make sure to hold these pieces on the front side and then you're going to do the following algorithm. Left, front inverted, left inverted, down inverted, left inverted, down, front. As you can see, now all the pieces are in the correct position. And you can do the same algorithm, right inverted, down inverted, to fix them. Like this. And this is why you need to remember to finish that down move. You're going to do right inverted, down inverted until this piece is correct. And then you're going to turn the top layer, turn this piece to this position and do the same algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right down, right inverted, down inverted, right. Don't forget that finish. Don't forget to finish that down move, down. Now you're going to move this piece to the location where the first piece was. And do the same algorithm all over again and if you've done it correctly the cube will be finished right inverted down inverted right down 
right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down also in this case you may have to repeat that algorithm one two four five times as you can see now we can just turn the cube two times and we finish the two by two now for the other case as you can see in the second case we don't have two pieces switched next to each other we have them switched diagonal from each other this piece is in the correct spot and this piece in, is in the correct spot which automatically means that these two pieces are switched what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that one of these wrong pieces is on the right side um, closest to you and the other piece is on the left side farthest from you and then you're going to do this algorithm front left front left inverted down inverted left inverted down now as you can see all of these pieces are in the correct position and we can fix them using the normal algorithm right inverted down inverted right down one last example of how to flip the pieces once they are in the correct position but flipped wrong you are going to do right inverted down inverted right down until it's fixed then twist the next piece into the same position right inverted down inverted right down and once that one's fixed you're going to place the last piece also in the same position and repeat the algorithm so let's start right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down now it's fixed you can see because it lines up with the piece next to it we're going to turn the next piece into the same position and repeat the algorithm right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down this one's also fixed and we're going to do the same thing with the last piece turn it to the same position and repeat the algorithm right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down and as you can see the cube is now fixed so i hope this helps you in fixing your 2x2x2 if you've learned something today please don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time